Hello, it's Fat Man from the Holler again. And as always, if you like my videos, hit like and subscribe. And ring that bell for upcoming content. Today, this video is going to be about the Layman Breacher Block Stadium Style Loading Block for Handgun Calibers. And it says two sizes fit most common handgun cases. Holds 50 rounds. Made... For precision reloading injected plastic mold, stadium style arrows, user to remove any case with ease. And I figured the, I bought two. And the reason I bought two is for the purpose of when I initially in the future get a couple of the last tools I need for reloading, which would be a tumbler and a tumbler basket and the media for separating it I would actually clean my cases place my cases I, I could place clean cases in bows and then I could have two and as I'm reloading put placing primers in the casings in the primer pockets when I have one done then I just set it to the side and then I would do the next one so I could do two boxes at a time or if I just want to if I clean two and I just want to do one box of 50 which that's how many rounds is in a typical box I'll just do one and leave the other one there so that's a good thing and I mean they're pretty the price on them's not really it's very expensive and it just it's very good to have these when you're reloading instead of trying to have a bunch of cases set everywhere because if you have cases you know cases get fumbled around and especially like if you're um especially if you're low like if you've done primed them and then you're setting there measuring your powder up and you're putting your powder in and you're doing your shells your empty holes you know your casings and you have powder in them you just don't want to have a bunch of cases set and say anything happens if you have a pet or a kid or a fan or just about anything of course nobody would want to have a fan but i'm just saying in general anything could happen knock all your stuff over then you have powder everywhere you don't want that mess because that's not really a good thing at all so these these will come in quite effective for reloading and i'm trying to keep the reloading videos going and i have other content that i create for all people because i use a multi content channel for just my passions and various things so i try to not do I, I try to be selective and i try to create stuff for all my viewers and i i mean sometimes the certain subject subject that my viewer who subscribes will want to see is maybe not what i'm promoting a video on but it's not that i'm trying to bypass you or not acknowledge you just i have a lot of stuff going on i'm passionate i have hobbies etc and it's not an excuse it's just my informative explanation and i'm going to wrap this up but i'll have in the link in the description i'll have the link to this and i'm serious some of the best the best place to buy a lot of stuff is on amazon and here's a little bit of the purchase i bought and the reason i bought from amazon and this is just a message to Bass Pro and businesses like that. Here's the deal. When you guys bought out Cabela's, I'll never buy another item from Bass Pro as long as I live. Because I feel when a business buys another business out, and I look at products that I could look at four years ago, two years ago, ten years ago, and the prices are all the same, or even higher, I won't buy nothing from a business because I used to be able to buy something from Cabela's. It might be twenty dollars cheaper than Bass Pro, or vice versa. Now there's nothing there. That just completely sends me the opposite direction. I'd rather buy from a local business called Graf and Sons, located in Mexico, Missouri, or um, let's see here, cheaper than dirt, Sportsman's Guide. There's tons of other businesses out there, and I'd rather deal with other businesses, some of them large, some of them small, some of them mom and pop, because I like to choose who I deal with. I don't like to be forced into anything, 
And that's just part of why I do what I do. I'm not forcing in the society, the media, the government, anyone's agenda. I'm not forcing anybody to watch what I do. And there's plenty of other people out there better than me. But I'm going to wrap this up. It's just a narrative of how I feel when I do a product review or I talk about a product. I actually, something I believe in. If I don't believe in the product, you're not going to see it on YouTube. You're not going to hear me talk about it anywhere in public because I don't like to deceive no one or manipulate. And some would say, well, you use Amazon Affiliate. Amazon Affiliate is just used for making maybe a little percentage of somebody buying nothing. I've been doing it since July. I've not made a penny. I don't have monetizations for YouTube. For YouTube, I'm just doing this for my passion and to help those who are looking for basic content. And that's what I look for. Because over analytical is great. But if you're a beginner, you're not going to know how the over analytical part works because you have to work in a process to acquire that. And the best thing you can do is read. And anyway, that is all. And much love. And I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend.